stroke or brain attack is the third leading most common cause of death worldwide in india it is becoming more and more prominent so it is associated with mortality and morbidity so hi friends i am dr shalesh jain principal consultant neurosurgery and neuro intervention department at max shalimar bag today we will discuss about the recent and latest treatment modalities regarding stroke how to approach the patient how to deal with patients beyond the general treatment so stroke is what stroke is is like the blood flow interruption to the brain tissue so stroke can be of two types majority like if the blood vessels get blocked it is ischemic stroke which is most common 80% cases second one is the blood vessel get ruptured this is a hemorrhagic stroke so today we are discussing more about the ischemic stroke because that is more common so ischemic stroke how to approach if patient comes in emergency we normally get done his ct scan or mri just to rule out whether there is a hemorrhage or not if there is no hemorrhage then we normally call it if the patient comes in the window period that is the window period means the 4.5 hours uh, since the patient noticing the symptoms of stroke in that case normally gives intravenous blood thinners this is called thrombolysis but if the vessels are involved like the it depends upon the stroke like which vessels are involved if the small size vessel are involved then we can safely manage with the intravenous drugs if large vessels are involved then we can see like 30 to 40% chances are there the vessels get open with the drugs so in that case what to do next in that case we normally do the endovascular treatment that is the mechanical thrombectomy mechanical means mechanical like we put the wires and catheter near to the clot area in the brain by doing selective angiography either by the groin area or by the forearm approach the radial artery so normally we do the brain angiography first and after that we approach that clot either by the catheter or by uh, putting the stand there so what we do we take the wire and catheter near to the clot area and we aspirate that clot or we put stand across the clot then either we put both the catheters and catheter stands together that is solumbra technique and we remove that clot so up to 80% of the recanalization rates are there with such treatment so in last i want to conclude that mechanical thrombectomy is ideal for large vessel occlusion stroke patients wake up stroke patients and those candidate who are unfit for intravenous thrombolytics mechanical thrombectomy has a success rate up to 80 85% which can decrease the economic and financial burden to the whole family so in setting of acute stroke you can take the maximum benefit of mechanical thrombectomy and think beyond intravenous thrombolysis to get the best outcome i hope you found this video informative for any questions or queries please ask them in the comment box below and thank you for watching subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates